going on, YouTube? It is your boy Tariq TV bringing you a brand new video. And today, Yo, bro, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Bro? I did get it on my again, channel. Did get off my channel, bro. bro. Get off my channel, bro. Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. I'm sorry for that interruption. My boy Tyree just wanted to come in and make a little introduction for me, but I didn't want him to do that. Anyways, today we do have something new to talk about. It's going to be something I haven't done in a while on this channel, but it's something I want to do again just because I feel like you guys want to know what the top releases are of the month because not everybody always knows about the releases coming out. And if you guys do want to know, all you got to do is type it on Google, sneaker releases of the month or just sneaker releases of October 2017 or whatever, and the releases will come up. That's exactly what I did for this video, except I chose the top three sneakers that are releasing this month. And to start off, the first shoe is the Nike. Hold on, I forgot the name. It is the Nike Zoom Fly SP in the Chicago colorway. I remember the shoe first came out like two, three months ago. It came out for some marathon. I know this is like a huge running shoe. It's like one of Nike's best running shoes. And in my opinion about this shoe, this shoe is straight fire. Unfortunately, I was not able to get my hands on these. I did want the ones that were like 4% because there was like one that was 4% and there was one that's like not 4% and there was like a whole nother model. Three shoes that released at the same time. I don't really remember exactly the details. I do apologize for that. But if you guys do know, I have been slacking a lot with sneakers because I've been really, really, really caught up with school, especially with the engineering campus like all these engineering classes got me messed up like i really can it's so hard to focus like it's stressful it is dumb stressful and if you guys have ever been an engineering student you guys will know what i'm going through it's actually dumb hard so i hope you guys can just pray for me hopefully i make it to the semester by the way things are looking right now Anyways, the Chicago colorway of this shoe does drop on October 5th for the price of $150. And in my opinion, that price is pretty fair for a pair of shoes, especially coming from Nike. This is one of their better running shoes, so $150 is not too bad, especially not for this shoe. This shoe is, like I said, it's really good. Super nice. It looks very sleek on your foot. It looks a little bulky because the sole looks like a little thick. But I mean, for the short guys like me, I think that'd be pretty good because, you know, we get like a little inch. Unfortunately, I would not be buying this shoe because I just don't got the money right now to be buying all these shoes. I mean, I have so much shoes. I could buy them, but I just don't want to live uncomfortably because i do gotta pay rent i do gotta pay my phone bill i do gotta pay my car i gotta pay groceries i gotta pay a bunch of stuff and on top of that i got these college expenses i gotta pay books and it's just so much to pay so i just can't be focused on buying shoes that's why you guys haven't seen a lot of sneaker reviews lately but i promise you that i will get back into buying them i actually do have money put aside to buy some triple black no not the triple black the japan triple black and mds i'm just waiting for those to come in my boy plug has hit me up he's slacking if you're watching this give me a call moving on to the next year we do have the kith collab with nike on this what is it called again damn i keep forgetting these shoes it is the kith and nike air pippin collab in the chimera colorway when i saw it i thought it was pretty fire i'm not gonna lie scotty pippin shoes are pretty fire my problem with them they're way too bulky i'm a short guy bulky shoes make me look a little wider and shorter so you already know i'm gonna look shorter with bulkier shoes and they're kind of high top too so that makes me look even shorter it takes away from my height so i can't be wearing these shoes but i do think they're super fire these shoes are super clean the colorway is super fire with all these like little animal prints it has like a zebra print in there it has like a panther print in there it has like a cheetah print in there it has a few more other prints i don't know exactly the prints and as you guys can by the shoe it has a good amount of prints in there and it has a good texture to it of the fur so that's what makes the shoe unique the little details matter in the shoe a lot it's what makes a shoe unique to itself of course and that's what i like about a shoe the details like the little details like yesterday i was wearing the shattered backboards i haven't worn those in forever but what i like about those is just the detail inside the shoe which is the insole which is the actual shattered backboard picture i know nobody sees that but it's super fire how they have that detail in there that's what makes a shoe special to me i don't know about you guys but for me that's what does it this sneaker releases on october 6th which is two days from today for the price of 205 dollars and that price is a little bit high, but it's pretty fair for being a Nike and Kith collab. Those two companies collabing are just always going to be fire. Have you and call. So as I was saying before I got interrupted, the price point on these shoes really isn't too bad. $205 for a Nike and Kith collab, I think that's pretty good price because Kith is a really good brand. They're a really expensive brand too, but they give quality with what they sell. Like not only with just shoes, but with clothing. Their clothing is so thick and nice. The texture of it, just the way it fits and all that. And the way they present it, the way their store is presented, everything about Kith is just fire. So I feel like this collab with Nike being at a price point of $205 is not bad at all. Especially being the Scotty Pippen shoe, which is also like a three-way collab, but Scotty Pippen is signed under Nike. So so it's just a Nike Kid collab. And this shoe is just fire. Like, honestly, the colorways are dumb fire. For me, like I said, I would not wear this shoe just because I'm a short guy. Bulky shoes don't go with me. I tried the Scotty Pippins, the up tempos. I think that's what they're called. They say like the air on the side. They look really nice on my feet, but they're just too bulky. They're way too wide on my feet. They look weird. I don't like bulky shoes. I like shoes that pretty much fit flush. So that's why the only high tops I would wear would be like the Jordan 11s because those do not fit too wide. And the Jordan 1s just fit like straight up on my, like right around my foot. And that's pretty much it. It's my explanation for not getting these shoes. Unfortunately, I would not be buying the first two shoes that I mentioned in this video. As for the third best sneaker release in the month of October, well, there is none because the shoe releases just suck this month. Like literally just tomorrow 
and the day after tomorrow that the girl releases and the rest of the month shoes just suck they're really ugly shoes so that being said i'm gonna make a video coming on monday since you guys know my schedule changed from monday wednesday saturday and sunday but saturday and sunday are sneaker weekends so i won't be posting that video this weekend but on monday i will be posting the top three or the top five worst sneaker releases of october because there's a lot of them as you guys can see i can't even pick the third best shoe for this month so stay tuned for monday's video if you guys want to see my opinion on the top five worst shoes of this month anyways before i go you guys know that i do got to give a shout out to the fan of the day and today's fan of the day does go to so y'all really are not getting the message you have to comment notification squad to be fan of the day i don't know if you guys want to be fan of the day because you guys are just commenting first but you have to comment notification squad so i know that your notifications are turned on because that means that you're one of the first people to watch the video i mean i understand that you're first that means you most likely have your notifications on or i don't know maybe a video could have popped up but you have to have your notifications on to become fan of the day so unfortunately i'm gonna have to go through like one two three four five comments just to go to the sixth comment which is a fan of the day and that goes to Aber Turkey 28 he has been fan of the day before if you guys actually watch my videos and guys remember who the fan of the days are i know because i read all your comments and i know who comments them so don't think i don't read your comments because i actually do i always ignore the bad comments so you try to comment some hate i don't really care i'm just gonna ignore you or i'll probably just bother you a little bit anyways let me explain one more time how to become a fan of the day for the next video all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel turn your notifications on and comment notification squad on my latest video and for the next video if you're one of the first people to comment that you will be fan of the day for that video understood anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give the video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe even if you don't want to become fan of the day just subscribe anyways i need those subs to go up if this channel goes in the path i want it to go i want to hit 25k by the end of this month and after that hit 50k by the end of november and then i want to hit 100k by the end of december which is by the end of the year and i do want to have 100k hopefully be close like around 75k by the time sneaker con new york rolls around because i do want to go to sneaker con new york and i do want to have that amount of subs by the time i go there hopefully Hopefully I'll have a bigger audience and hopefully I'll be meeting a lot more people out there when I go up there because it's going to happen. Just wait on it. Anyways, y'all, it's been fun. Make sure you stay woke. It's your boy Sneaker Sign now.